Hey, 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 my ninjas. Good morning. How is everybody? I hope this message finds you not just well, but awesomely well. It is Thursday morning. It is episode 163. Oh, we're fast getting to 200. I hope you guys are fantastic. Thursday morning. I love Thursdays. I just feel like that is the it's the middle of the week-ish. No, it's not. It's the end of the week. What are you on about, Dean? Okay, today, let's just carry on. <laughs> today, we are talking about your tongue. Yes, your tongue. Before I get into it, I would love it if you could leave a rating and review. I know I keep asking for it, but it does really make a difference in the algorithm. And we all know that I have an ambition of going from zero to one million downloads. So all reviews really matter. Well, the fours, threes, two, one stars don't matter. So please don't leave them. Just a five star. Uh, that would be amazing if you could. Right. So today we are talking about your tongue. Imagine sailing, a sailing boat, a rudder. The direction of your body is determined by your tongue, by your tone, by your inner voice. So you're, you've got to be careful about your tongue because it's a rudder for your body. Your tongue will determine the direction you go. This is so important. I think I got this from Mind Valley. And it was, that's a Mind Valley podcast. It's a great podcast. And basically, it's, it's watching how you internally speak to yourself. Because we're, every single one of us, we're our worst critic. I was talking to another podcaster the other day, and they said to me about uh, hating your own voice. And I was saying, Are you joking? I, 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 this is genuine. I can't stand listening back to myself on this podcast because I'm cringing. I am like, oh my God, did you say that? Did you do that? Did you act like that? Why was you doing that with your hands? Just stand still. What are you doing? What do people think? And, I'm, and then when I'm watching it, I'm, I'm catching myself and I'm thinking, why on earth are you talking to yourself like that? I wouldn't talk to any other human being like the way my internal voice talks to me. So why do I do that? And it's very simple. We are our worst critic. Every single one of us. There'll be nobody harder on you than your internal voice. There'll be won't be. It's impossible. Because we have such high expectations of ourselves. And that's fine. There's no problem. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with having high expectations. But what I want and what I need myself to do as well is to not judge yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. You wouldn't talk to your friend the way your internal voice talks to you sometimes. So why would, why would you talk to yourself like that? You wouldn't talk to a friend because why? Because you know it would hurt their feelings. You know it would negatively affect them if you talk to them in that way. You would encourage, even if they sucked, you would encourage them. You would pick out the good things, the positives. You wouldn't go for the negatives, but what do we do? We automatically go for the negatives. We go for the worst possible part. And do you know what we do? We also twist it. We twist it and twist it until it hurts. We know what points hurt, the pressure points. And we go for them pressure points. And do we let up? No, do we heck? Our internal voice never lets up. It just keeps on going and going and going until we feel demoralized. We don't have that confidence. So what I want you to do, and myself, what I need to do, is I need to make sure that I audit, I say audit a lot, I listen, I audit my internal voice. I don't let my internal voice, I protect myself. I want to protect myself by stopping that internal voice. Go easy on yourself. You're doing amazing. You're doing absolutely fantastic. Now go easy on yourself. Don't let that internal voice look for the negatives because I, I, I say this a lot as well. If you look for the positives, guess what you'll see? Guess what you'll find? Guess what you'll see more of? The positives. If you look for the negatives, what will you find? You will find more negatives. You are always looking for the negatives in yourself and how you act. And don't get me wrong, I will still do this with this podcast because I genuinely, okay, all right, I'll try. I'll try not to do it, but I, I, I just cringe. I absolutely cringe at myself and I'm like, oh my God. But that's, and again, there I am going, oh, oh my God, Dean. I'm doing it now, live on camera and on audio. I'm actually doing it now in front of you. It's a habit. It's ingrained in all of us. We all have it. You've just seen me default to it. Oh, oh my God, Dean. I, 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 you, you make me cringe. Why would I say that to myself? I would never, ever say to another podcaster, another friend, you make me cringe. Why? Why do I do it? That's almost like I've got a self-destruct button. Your shit, boof, press that button. Take some of that. I'm like, no, you're awesome, Dean. People listen to you. All right, that feels a bit weird too. 
<laughs> but listen, just watch how you speak to yourself because just then, even though I'm talking about not doing it, I'm still doing it. What is wrong with us? What is wrong with me? What? Oh, there I go again. I'm doing it again. Stop it. <laughs> and now I'm thinking, oh my God, what do I look like? What do I look like? There, I, I just can't stop it. I can't. It's like a waterfall. I can't turn it off. It's like a tap. Look and try your best to turn this tap off because this tap is no good for you. It's no good for me. And I, I am sure that, do you know what? I'm going to watch, I'm going to watch this back. And I'm, what I'm going to do is pick out the positives. I'm sure there's going to be some positives somewhere. So I'm going, to, I'm going to pick out the positives. All right, my friends, just remember that your internal voice is the rudder for your body. It's a rudder for your body. It determines which direction you go in. And for me, there we go. I'm shaking my head already. I'm shaking my head. For me, it is, it's, it's a terrifying <laughs> little tongue. It's, I tell you, it's vicious, this little tongue inside my body. So you're not alone if you have <laughs> if you have an internal voice that is your biggest critic. Because as we've just seen in this podcast, I have it as well. Okay, my friends, thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate that you fact you listen. I will speak to you tomorrow while we're talking about you are weird. <laughs> I, I pick you up and then I smack you back down again. Yeah, you, you're weird. But we're talking about embracing your weirdness. That's what I need. That's what I do. <laughs> I, do. I embrace. A, look at me laughing to myself. I'm, there's nobody in this office and there I am laughing away. I'm having a great time. <laughs> I hope you guys are having an awesome time as well. And I will speak to you guys tomorrow where we talk about embracing your weirdness. <laughs> Not that I have a weird side. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon, guys. Thank you. And if you did like this episode, please leave a rating and review. It'd be much appreciated. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye.